This was the simplest way I could find to safely uh, wash your riding gear. So I, I think this applies both to Gore-Tex and regular. So you should be able to just follow these instructions behind. Get your riding gear clean. So first thing, just remove all of your armor. I really like this uh, D3O's. Or lasted quite a while. The back plate out. Um, let's climb one. And there's a little bit of chest protection as well. And of course, don't forget the shoulder pads and the elbow pads. As well. If you have any blue straps, like this kidney belt strap, that's on the side. Get rid of that as well. You don't want this just running around. But it's unlikely that this is particularly dirty. If it is, probably wash it by hand. Just make sure you check all your pockets. Get rid of everything in there. And then you want to make sure that all the zips are closed. Hooks, velcro straps. Secure them in. Just make sure in the velcro straps. Take them down as well. Right. You don't want these flopping around apparently because it, it will start scratching up the jacket. Get it up. And then make sure to seal the main zipper as well. Apply the same um, basically to your pants. You know, empty any pockets, secure velcro straps. Um, and zipper everything up and of course before you do that get any of the protective pads out uh, some of the climb badlands models now my wife's didn't have this but i guess the men get a little tailbone protector so don't forget to take that out so from the pants you should have basically for the knees the hips and if applicable the tailbone protector pretty soon you should have a whole bunch of them Including the jackets. Oh, the one one thing that always used to get me confused was between the jacket shoulder pad and the knee pad because they're exactly the same size and shape width-wise. Uh, the only difference is the knee pad is a little bit of length here. I guess that helps out. So pretty soon we have all pads out, cleaned up. Zippered up and ready to go for a wash. Now this next point is very, very important. If you come down to your washing machine and find you only have powdered detergent, don't do it. You gotta go get some liquid detergent. I'm serious. <laughs> do not use powdered detergent. Now, trust me when I say this. I am a lazy man. It's my day off and the last thing I want to do is get out of the house. But I'm going to get out of the house just to go get the damn liquid detergent. So don't use powder detergent. Just to prove to you how important this is. And Crocs now in off-road mode. Babies, safe for babies, should be good for and safe for tickets. Oh, you don't need any kind of fabric softener or any other stuff, okay? Just laundry detergent. Okay, so you want to try and wash each one separately. So, in my case, I gotta run four cycles. Normal wash mode, set extra rinse. 
40 degrees, and no spin, okay? Because we're gonna line dry this. Like I said, nothing but liquid detergent. Use very little, 30 ml. Yep, that should be enough. Okay, now that we're out of the washer, ideally you want to just line dry everything. Just hang everything out, let it get nice and dry. So for non-Gore-Tex jackets, once it's nice and dry, you should be good to go. You know, good to ride again. But with Vortex, you've got an additional step. So once we're done with this, we've got to run it through the dryer one more time, essentially to activate the Gore-Tex. And then we'll test out that the actual Gore-Tex uh, waterproofing works. Okay, now that it's fully been dried, we've got to drop anything that has the Gore-Tex lining. Tumble dryer, set it for 20 minutes, and then we'll test it after. Okay, now that we've done the reactivation, let's see if the Gore-Tex actually works in uh, beating off a little bit of water. Yep, works a treat. Happy riding, guys.